Start of a new day. I'm actually stealing Stephen's seat. This must have been really f***ing early. Look at my face, mate. I look like a wee f***ing peach. The top is really round and then the bottom is like whoop. These are the perks of being self-employed. Apparently I'm self-employed still. There's a lot of stuff happening. We're starting a pilot with Snapchat. We started a pilot with Snapchat. Ladies and gentlemen, I have my own Snapchat show. Go to Snapchat now, search Nico Leonard. And that's me, hello. Then I'll be working on the sale of a half a million pound watch, 7-Eleven green, which is incredible. Remember one of the previous video, I was talking about the green 5711 Patek Philippe Nautilus, remember? Uh, I think so. How the f do you forget that? That is a f***ing masterpiece. You'll never- Shut the f*** up. We sold that watch and placed that watch in a complete new collection. And I am so proud of that. Yeah! Keelan is one of our new editors. Hello. Three weeks ago when I said I didn't get a single type one inquiry, we were up at nearly 200 at one point. Fucking hell, 200 inquiries. If you want to sell your watch and you go to prideandpinion.com, you fill in the form. That's our type form. So if you want to buy or sell your watch, go to prideandpinion.com. Fucking brilliant. Supporting the crowd, supporting Pride and Pinion. Yes! Means he needs to work extra. Stop supporting, I'm too busy. <laughs> Gavin! That's good, Gav. I'm not doing this. Come on. I'm not doing it. Where's your beard, mate? Where's your beard? Is I'm it right? shaved it off. Ah, look at this. We need to hire two more salespeople, but it's really, really hard to find that specific person. I don't want another disaster like Gavin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I love you, mate. I love you. If you're looking at looking a job, you live in Belfast, or you want to move to Belfast, you're more than welcome. We're looking for two salespeople. There you go. There, there hasn't been one offered in over five months. This is my personal watch. Like, the watch has been discontinued, mate, to be honest. I've been very fair. That's for the sale for this 5231. That's this watch. 98,000 sterling, which is the equivalent of about $126,000. As much as I love this watch, I'm on the point of buying my first house. If you want to buy the 5231J, link is in the description. It's the cheapest one in the world today. I'm going to put myself on a target today by selling this watch. I need to get this sold. If I give myself a target, I am the target destroyer. Ooh, that's a good one. 5212, very rare. But well, let's, uh, let's talk about cars. We're all being well, come in proud of that weekend and get your driving for that weekend. This is Ian and Ian works for Mercedes. Ian has worked his bollocks off to get me my dream car. And for that, I promise to completely refurb his watch for free. Watch is completely restored, case has been filled. So we've done, redone the case, we kept the original bezel. Watch is timed at two seconds plus. So the, the accuracy is minus plus yeah. two seconds a day. Every watch that leaves our business, if it's a new watch, a pre-owned watch, or a watch that we service. We want to have this watch as accurate as possible. We will not let a watch leave our building if it's running more than two seconds a day fast or running more than two seconds a day slow. It's looking so well. Thank that's, you very much. That's what we do. Thank you. No worries. Thank that's you. class like. You don't even look like my watch anymore. It's come up really well. And then I had to show him some big guns. A really, really special dial last year introduced. Nice, isn't it? Eisen Kiesel. What's that on the dial? It's a stone. Off cat lock, full factory set. Um, Submariner, white gold. It's full factory. Extremely rare. Conor McGregor has this one as well. 5231J, enamel dial. Insanely complicated to make that dial. And the world timer allows you to see the time across the entire world. Very, very special watch. Very so proud that we have this in our possession. Steve! Steve! Hi. Steve! You're dead. You're dead. What's this? You know what it is. You only give it to me now because you beat me in pool, finally. Ah, uh, fuck off. I beat everyone in pool. I'm the pool king. I literally approve on camera. He's admitted it here. He will never admit it when he comes in. Call him. Steve! Who's the pool king here? Let's just take a hold on it. Johnny, I so have to give only it to Steve. Off. Ah, you're a fucking pool bag! Jack, Steve. That was my Christmas gift to you though. I let you beat me. Right, we've determined I'm the pool king. Have we? If you ask the office now, yeah. who's the pool king? I'm definitely not you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Tim! Fuck you! It's settled in. Look at that, that color is nice. Like Irish WC. Ooh, the Irish WC. Yeah! Twinning. Are we twinning? Twinning. Sexy. We're greening up now. The green machine. It's actually extremely nice in this light, isn't it? Aye. So what do you say? You're just going to take this off me monthly now and make me pay for it? Is <laughs> yeah. that what it was? I thought it was a cool idea to reward Stephen for all his hard work with a IWC. So we get further up the fucking waiting list. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Yeah! Irish WC, there you go. Look at that. 
worth very much. No, I promised him a watch last year, but I couldn't afford it, and I still can't afford it, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. How are you, mate? You well? Jay? Hi, do you well. Good to meet you. Lovely to meet you. You too. What do you think of Belfast? Beautiful. Chris is one of Stephen's customers, and I had the pleasure to finally meet Chris in person. We flew him over from England to pick up his new watch. Let me see. <laughs> Love it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Third purchase from yourselves. Got a Sun Mariner 2021, 2018 Batman. In general, I was massively grateful to meet him because he was very ill last year and it was good to see him in such a good form and I beat him in pole. No proof of that. I did win. You have to put that in. This is me being honest. I'm shit. Uh, am I getting a ball today, no? You're not, you're not standing a chance anymore. It's one of these days, like. <laughs> it's always one of those days. No, it's not. It's brutal, wait. I can't believe that, Chris. That was probably the worst game I've ever played in my life. I don't doubt it. That one of life's winners. That's all I'm at. Next day, on our way to the God Tier Factory. You've called me six times, Gavin. You are right? <laughs> Yes, that's because you have to call three times to get through because you're an international plonker. I've spoken to you like a so minute and a half ago. ago. Yes, this is a different subject matter. We're driving today, we'll be there in 15 minutes. So Derry, can, London, Derry. London, Derry, yeah. Derry, oh. <laughs> Derry, London, Derry, 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 London, Derry, Derry, whatever the f it is. It literally drives Stephen up the wall. Bye, I'll speak to you in two minutes. Hello, guys. Ah, oh, touch my titties. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you might not like it, but this is how the peak mill physique looks like. You might not like it, but this is what the peak male athletic form looks like. For me, this third drop is the most important one, as this one is personal. Against all odds, it was something that was massively important for me. While no one really believed in me at school or at work or when I started my business, and therefore, against all odds that I wear on my heart is one of the most important sayings in the world. You know why I started God here? It's not just about us, it's not just about me, it's not just about pride and opinion. It's also about bringing something in the market that is pure and pure quality. If I put the name God here on there, it needs to be the highest possible quality. The finish of the t-shirt, everything is finished, by hand on the island of Ireland. You can wash this a million times and the print is still there. This t-shirt will still be there in like 100 years. If you look at the hoodies, the materials, it's soft as a feather. It took us over a year to properly find the materials, but it needed to be the best materials in the world. But it's not just the materials itself, it's also the packaging. When people buy a t-shirt, I wanna give them an experience. It needs to be the best quality you can find, the tags, the boxes, everything is done till perfection. It costs a clean fortune for us, but at least we're adding value. There's a wee manual how to wash your t-shirt. Every box that's been sent out or every envelope that sends out, there's a special smell. We need to work with our senses. Touching on all the senses. Every t-shirt, every hoodie will have a wee surprise. A Tiffany blue finish. So when they take a wrist shot, they will always have God there on there. How can we add value? By being better than anyone else. That's what I want. And that's what God there represents. I'm gonna make three God Tier t-shirts myself. I'm gonna sign them and I'm gonna give them away to three random people that comment on the video now. Is it not good, no? No, no. So you got the, uh... <laughs> Look at that. Extra special. Thank you so much for your hard work. Looking forward to this one. At Bright and Binion, we recently started to accept cryptocurrencies as payment. It's a, it's a minefield, let me tell you. I'll crypto course you, mother <laughs> um, Yeah, that, that, Look, this is a learning curve for everybody. We offer the capability to pay in crypto. It's something that is, is, is well beyond me. I was making two grand and now we're losing a grand, so it's only a thousand pounds. Now we're making less than a thousand pounds on a 68 yeah thousand pound uh, uh, transaction we'll make that call as a team in a meeting and say how can we avoid yeah. this i want to be properly advised by colleagues as well yeah maybe a crypto course is a good idea yeah you definitely need a crypto course <laughs> mate for 
fuck's sake. <laughs> Accepting crypto is a complete new thing for us, so we need to figure out what to do, but we're literally making 912 pounds profit on a 68,000 pound watch because of the extortionate fees. That's not good enough. So we need to figure out what the right balance is, basically. We'll get there, we'll get there. We wanna make it easy for our customers, but we don't wanna lose money. The normal margin on this watch was approximately 2,000 pounds, which was low in general, but it was a quick flip. That's the flip side of being a watch dealer. Margins are small, but if you wanna buy or sell your watch, go to prideandpinion.com.